Great guys, now let's talk about differentiation in this session and let's get convinced that we can learn mathematics through video class and e-learning, right? I'm teaching you differentiation in a very simple way, right? I'm not going through your textbook language and definition stuff like that. I'm just giving you three stages to learn differentiation through first principles, right? Let's check this out, right? Let's talk about a simple example. Let's say y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x, right? I'm, I'm differentiating this. The, I will take another problem. Let's say I talk about y is equal to sine x. I'll take both these problems, and there's something to learn both them, right? So we'll keep it in track. Okay, we'll do both of them simultaneously. We'll see where the difference lies in. Okay. Now this problem, particularly the first stage, is all about uh, incrementing x as x plus delta x, and y would become y plus delta y. This is what I'm doing. Very simple. We'll not go with the textbook language. Simple simple three stages is what I want you guys to know to learn differentiation through first principles. Go ahead. So this is what I'm doing. I very very fine x, I'll write x plus delta x and very very fine y, I'll write y plus delta y. So what happens here? It becomes y plus delta y is equal to 2. Instead of x, I'll write x plus delta x the whole squared plus 3 x plus delta x. That's it. Alright, so this problem, let's do them simultaneously so that we can understand the concept. Alright, here Again, I'll take y as y plus delta y and x plus delta x. And what happens here? I can see y plus delta y is equal to sine of x plus delta x. That's it. Yes. Right. Come back to this guy. That's the first stage. What I'm doing here in the first stage is I'm trying to keep delta y on one side. So it goes like what? 2. I can write x plus delta x the whole squared plus 3 x plus delta x and I'm putting y on the other side that is minus y so what happens here delta y is 2 times x plus delta x the whole squared plus 3 x plus delta x minus y who's y why is my question that is 2x squared plus 3x yes I still have delta y so what I'm doing now is trying to simplify this see whether something can be uh, cancelled out taken common or whatever it is let's, let's open this is 2 times I just have x plus delta x plus whole squared. So that is looking like a plus b whole squared. That is x squared plus delta x squared plus 2. x delta x, yes. And this is 3. All right, let me open this guy. That is 3x minus 3 or plus 3 delta x, yes. Open the brackets here. Minus 2x squared minus 3x. That's what you have. Can I open this guy again? That is 2x squared plus 2 delta x squared plus 2 into 2 is 4x delta x plus 3x plus 3 delta x minus 2x squared minus 3x. So far the first stage here is all about making delta y on one side, right? So cool. So let me write delta y still here and can I cancel something here? I can see this is gone and I can see 3x and 3x is gone. What's left out? What's left out is 2 delta x whole squared plus 4x delta x plus 3 delta x okay we'll we'll stop till here i will go to this problem and reach the same stage in this problem see what happens here i'm just trying to keep this guy here that is delta y put y on the other side sine of x plus delta x minus y so delta y is plus sine of x plus delta x minus who's y y sine x i'm doing the same stuff Though it, whether it is trigonometry or algebraic, I'm doing the same stuff. So I get this one, right? Can I write sine x plus uh, delta x minus sine x using a formula of transformation? Yes, there is something like sine c minus sine d, which opens up to be 2 cos c plus d by 2, and a sine c minus d by 2. These are transformation formulas. I've discussed these formulas a little later and how to remember or how to uh, remember this guy using a shortcut very simple trick okay we'll go to the next thing but anyway i'll use this guy here now what happens here delta y can be written as using that formula two times cos x or if this guy is c and d this guy looks like c and this guy looks like d so it goes like x plus delta x plus x the whole thing divided by two into sine c minus d so who's sine or who's c basically this guy x plus delta x minus x by 2 all right so delta y is equal to 2 times cos that is 2x plus delta x by 2 
and sine I can cancel these two I'll get delta X by 2 cool this is my first stage when both the cases I just reach till delta Y to be on one side okay now see what happens I'm doing these two problems together because there's one thing you need to know after this stage all right so it is different in this case and different in these cases we'll see how it is so let me erase this guy and I'll just continue you guys can use papers and write so far what has happened there's my first stage I got delta Y on this side to be 2 delta X quad plus 4x delta x plus 3 delta x that's my first stage I got delta x, uh, y on one side let me take this off and uh, what's happening here I'll just write the answer this is what I have delta y is equal to 2 times cos I can write this as 2x plus delta x by 2 in a sign delta x by 2 that's my first stage right First stage is all about keeping delta y on one side. Let's go ahead. Second stage here says divide both the sides by delta y. So I'm dividing by, sorry, delta x. Divide both the sides by delta x. So what do you get? 2 delta x squared plus 4x delta x plus 3 delta x. The whole thing divided by delta x. Okay, cool. Here also the same thing. So delta y divided by delta x goes like 2 in the cos. I can write this as 2x by 2 plus delta x by 2 okay so anyway 2 and 2 is gone so what do you get into sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x is what I'm doing now we need to think one thing all right I need to see that this delta x disappears before I apply the limits or at least when I apply the limits it should not be a part of the problem it should be a part of a formula which eliminates delta x now you will understand this. Now you will understand why I did both the problems together also. Here in this case, I can write what? I can just take delta x common out and see what is happening. 2 delta x plus 4x plus 3. The whole thing divided by delta x. And this guy is gone. Right? So I get delta y by delta x is 2 delta x plus 4x plus 3. I don't have anything denominator like delta x. I'll tell you why is that also a little later. But can I cancel this delta x with anything inside? Not happening. This guy looks like 2 times x plus delta x by 2. Yes, and sine delta x by 2. The whole thing divided by delta x. Can I cancel this delta x with this? No, I can't. Anything inside the sine function you can't touch. You can't touch this guy. So what will I do with this guy? And why should I eliminate this guy? That's very important, right? Now the third stage says, the third stage says delta y by delta x. In both the cases, I just apply limits of delta y by delta x where delta x tends to zero now there is a problem when I substitute delta x to zero so what happens on the right hand side is this this guy 2 into cos x plus 0 by 2 in a sine 0 by 2 the whole thing divided by 0 here is a problem anything divided by 0 is not defined right so there is a problem after I apply the limits the whole thing goes not defined so what is the concern All right see anyway come back to this if I apply the limits here let's say limit of delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x it goes like what applying the limits delta x tends to 0 I can just actually write 2 in a 0 it's gone plus 4 into x plus 3 so I just get 4x plus 3 and that's my answer in this case I can write this whole thing as dy by dx and it was fine this I can get the answer because there was no delta x in the denominator but this I cannot cancel this now what should I do with this guy no there is a way I should not be applying limits here right right now I will not for this I know a formula which says limit of delta x tends to 0 sine theta the whole thing divided by theta is 1 okay this is what I'm using okay now, come back to this can I write this whole thing as before applying limits before applying limits I'm just writing the whole thing as what 2 times cos x plus delta x by 2 I'll keep this guy like that only and I can write sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x now this is what I have look at this this delta x can be written below this or this or any of these guys no problem now this is not 
looking like this it is right but this is theta and this is theta but here is delta x by 2 is only delta x they're not same same see this design has to be same can I write this divided by 2 and another 2 here yes it is not wrong I'm just multiplying and dividing a 2 it doesn't make it wrong cool now now by applying limits I can in fact separate this whole thing from my problem and I can see that delta x problem is gone all right I can write this whole thing as 1 so let me see what to do with this guy the delta y by delta x is what you have it is 2 times cos x plus delta x by 2 and a sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x by 2 and you have a 2 here all right this 2 came up just because I had to multiply a 2 here and here right cool come back now let me apply the limits is what happens so let's write limit of delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x it is limit of 2 times cos x plus delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by 2 I can actually cancel these two guys it's gone right so I can in fact cancel it here so what's left out is this right so into limit of delta x tends to 0 I have sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x by 2 cool that's what we have now can I apply the limits? Yes. If I apply the limits to this section, this whole thing becomes 1 according to that formula. We should know that formula from first view, see. Right? Right. Now let me apply the limits to this guy. It goes like, uh, wherever I have delta x, I would just write, okay, this delta x tends to 0. Alright, I just write 0 here. That is cos of x plus 0 over 2. It's gone. Right. In this case, that becomes 1. So what happens here? This guy is dy by dx. So dy by dx is simply cos of x and that's my answer now this is what I wanted you to learn that in some cases where I can cancel delta x and denominator by taking common out I can do that before I apply the limits that's your third stage in some cases you cannot eliminate delta x directly so I got to eliminate this guy using a formula like one of these letters and that's it this is what we need to learn in first principles all right I would do a couple of more problems using first principles to just let you know that we guys can learn differentiation through video classes, right?